Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In the next four videos, you will learn how to fetch data from external API into your React components. In this fetching data project, you will learn how to fetch data from external API. We will reuse the collapsible component that we created in the previous module, but instead of showing lorem ipsum, we are showing username and some user details like email and address, okay? So we'll use some of the components from the previous videos, but now we will learn how to fetch data from a third party API and save them to a local storage. And if they are older than 15 minutes, then we will reload the new set of data or clicking on the fetch now also reloads the new data. All the data, which you see on the page right now are generated by this random user generator, which is a free open source API for generating random user data. And we will use this configuration results 50 and the nationality US, Danish, French and British. Okay, so this will give us 50 results and then we will massage the data and show it on the page like you see in this example. Download the files from under the video. You should get a 02 fetching data folder. Open the starting folder and run the npm install. We could reuse the old files, but I want to make sure everyone starts from the same spot. And as you know from the previous videos, we just simply run npm run dev. When the installation is complete, and then the, in the localhost 8080, we see the current page. Okay, so here we have the collapsible element. And instead of the lorem ipsum, we're showing the names. These are hard coded for now, but now we will turn it into dynamic list of user profiles. Now let's go to the VS code. Open the app JS inside of the JS folder. And that's where we'll be doing most of the work in this section of the workshop the first thing we'll need to create is the constructor and set the initial state of the app okay so we want to make sure that by default the app is in a loading mode so we need a constructor and inside of it we'll type in the super as well we'll pass in the props not that we need it on this component but i do it on all the components anyway and then we create the initial state this dot state equals object and inside of it we'll create is loading true and we'll set the contacts to an empty array this is our initial state and then we'll create the component did mount we'll hook into the component did mount lifecycle of this component and inside of it we will want to fetch the data Okay, so if you want to fetch data from third-party APIs, the component did mount is the right lifecycle method. And the fetch data is a custom method that we create just below. Inside of here, we'll have the Ajax call, but for now, we'll leave it empty. Now we'll scroll down to the page just under the content container, and we'll create a loader icon, which is simple two divs nested into each other, the first one is called loader and the inside the inner element is called icon. You have the snippets under the video if you are lazy to type it in. Now that we have the icon created, let's have a look inside of the style sheet because that's where the magic happens. That's where the animation is created. We have a loader class and that class, the icon element inside of it has a background with icon underscore loader SVG. And then the loader is using animation when we have a class, parent class is loading. We're using the spin keyframes to animate this in an in infinite manner. Okay, so when the is loading class is applied to a parent element, then the loader is moving. And that's what we need to create now. We've got a loader. Now we need to create the extra class, the is loading class on the content. Okay, so cut out the content. We'll need to wrap it inside of the JavaScript expression. We'll use the backticks again. 
paste the content back in and after dollar sign and curly braces we'll type in is loading so if it's loading is true then we want the is loading class to render otherwise we don't want to render anything okay make sure that you've got this on the content element and if we've got everything right if we save the file we forgot to actually export or destructure the is loading variable or constant from the state so let's do it just under the render is loading we're extracting it or we're destructuring it from the state and now we have access to it inside of the render method okay this should be all we have the default state set now if we save it and view it in the browser we should see the spinning icon but we don't see it so let's quickly inspect it we've got a console log there is some fav icon issue that's not the problem but if we look at the element we have the is loading okay i know what the issue is we have the loader outside of the content but what needs to happen we need to move it inside of it okay so we have a wrong spot for the loader we need to fix it in the html just simply cut it out and make sure we paste it at the bottom of the content itself so the content is the parent container okay that was my bad and this should be fine if i save it now and refresh the page we see the spinning loader as we want it now we need to hide all the names all the users until they are loaded into the state so we'll go back to the panel group inside of it we'll create another javascript expression this time we'll check for the is loading variable and also we'll check if the contacts length is greater than zero and if it is then we want to map through the contacts so we'll take contacts.map inside of it we'll take one contact and for each of them we will return the collapsible element okay so we'll return and we can simply copy and paste one of these collapsible elements inside of it and then we also want to make sure we have colon and null in case that the expression returns false okay so if it's true we're rendering the collapsible if it's false we're rendering null okay so in our case the default state will be blank we won't see any collapsible elements rendering we also need to make sure that the contacts are destructured from the state and if you look at it in browser we'll see the spinning icon without any contacts there so if loading is set to false and the contact length is greater than zero we are rendering the collapsible if it's not we are rendering nothing and in the next video we will hook this on the right fetch call this is it for this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this until next time happy coding